What if there was a weapon in Minecraft that upgraded every time you got a kill? Well, in Hotblade.Oreal, there is. Blackie, you already did a Midas Sword video. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, uh, what if every time you got a kill, you got a better legendary weapon? In this video, each kill I get grants me a more powerful sword than the last. But which legendary sword is the best? Keep on watching till the end to find out. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into the video. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Hoplite video. Today, I am playing a solo. I feel like a lot of my past uploads have been Civ games, but it's nice to try out a few solos from time to time. We got lucky with two diamonds off spawn. Let's go. There is so much going on in this temple. I just need to get out of here. Is that a freaking Ravenger horn? In case you missed my last video, my brand new Hoplite texture pack, Lacklight 16X, will be releasing at 20,000 subscribers. And we are really close to that goal. So slap that subscribe button before we find our first fan of diamonds for luck in your next Hoplite game. Let's go. There's our first fan of diamonds. Please don't be only one. Perfect. Uh, now we can craft an enchantment table and a diamond sword. I also want to try going for a magma club this game, so let's attempt to head to the nether. Hold on, wait. Did somebody just log out? Wait, I can get a free head here. That's huge. Okay, somebody's already here. Hopefully they don't yoink the head from me. <laughs> Luckily, they were completely oblivious and we just got this player's head. Nice. A little tip for everyone watching, if you come across a patch of tough in a cave like this, there will almost always be an iron block in the middle. Most of you will probably already know this, but just in case somebody out there didn't, now you know. We are already getting an unreal amount of gold this game, and I low-key might end up with more gold than if I were to rush a bastion. Speaking of bastions, let's go ahead and try out our luck in the nether. This is actually a pretty bad spot, but thankfully we at least spawned in near some magma blocks. I'm gonna make a little pit stop and try to get some quartz XP before we leave. I'm getting really bad enchantment rolls on my books, so it looks like we're going to be leaving the nether with only sharpness too. And that's literally all that we needed, so it's time to head back. It'd be a shame to let all of this gold go to waste, so let's go ahead and make my golden head and our golden apples. Okay, well, I donked up and I forgot to make my lights. That's alright, that just means we get to make them later. Even though Grace period is ending, I still want to try to get sharpness through on my sword before we fight anyone. You know, just to be safe. We can make sharpness too, but again, the enchantment rolls on the books have just been absolutely abysmal this game. And with that, I think that it's about time that we head up to the surface and fight. And what perfect timing. It looks like there's an enemy over this way by the ocean. Oh, they have a magma club. That's probably not good for us. This guy's only running because he knows that it's over for him. Man, you are so low. Please stop healing. Showing me that you have golden apples just makes me want to kill you more. All right, and there we go. With our first kill, we've upgraded to the Magma Club. The plan with this weapon isn't actually to use it as a sword, but if we hold it in our offhand like this, we're gonna be immune to all fire damage. I low-key want these cobwebs back, so... Now that we have them back, let's go on the hunt for more enemies. There could be somebody here in the village. There is a workbench here, meaning that somebody could have an emerald sword. Looks like I was right. There's a player on a horse right here, but the question is, does he have an emerald sword or not? Oh, perfect, he does. I'm just gonna steal your horse here. Goodbye. I'm just kidding. Don't worry. I'm still gonna fight you. I don't think that this guy put any emeralds into the sword yet. All right, that's our second kill and second sword upgrade. We're also gonna throw his diamond boost into the enchantment table real quick. He had emeralds on him, but he didn't put them in the sword for some reason. 23 emeralds will upgrade it to sharpness one. I'm thinking, since because we couldn't make a sharpness three diamond sword, we should probably work on getting a few extra emeralds to upgrade this emerald sword to sharpness three. Plus, since we're good on healing, I think that we should try our luck with an Aries Blessing. 32 gold is solid. It's not like that was in any short supply, though. We've reached sharpness two through trading, but the villagers have locked up and we can't get any more emeralds. Thank you two for your service, but it's time to depart. Hey, so this is your quick reminder to drop a like and a sub or else you're going to end up like those villagers. After running around the forest, slaying as many animals as I could find for some emeralds, I stumbled across an enemy who was just recovering from a fight. Oh, hello there. There's no way that I'm just going to be able to sneak up on him like this. My sword! There's no reason why I should have won after throwing my emerald sword away like that. He also had a flame bow, that's crazy. And he had two sharpness three diamond swords, meaning that we can upgrade to a sharpness four diamond sword. We suddenly just got way more powerful. And there's more, <laughs> more gold. He dropped in the middle of drinking a potion. I bet if he drank it fully, he would have gotten away. So meetup begins in five minutes, but I would really like to get another kill before deathmatch. And I bet if we run around, we can probably find somebody near zero zero. I haven't seen anybody yet, but we could try out the nether. I doubt anyone's here. So yeah, let's just go back to the overworld. That was kind of pointless. Oh, but I do see somebody over by the planes. But there's another player right behind us. Ooh, who do we fight here? I'm going to pretend like I don't see the person behind me. 
Well, that didn't work. I guess they're just gonna bow me instead. Okay, I mean this in the least insulting way possible. I just out healed you, little bro. On top of that, I also out bow you, so there is like no point in running. Come here. Or don't. You can keep running, but deathmatch is near. Good fight, my man. Except you really didn't fight back. But it's time for deathmatch, and we're going in with two legendary weapons and a sharpness four diamond sword. It's not like we really need it, but let's go ahead and get the gapples from mid anyways. Oh my god, no way. Real Prince Zam. Yeah, no, you definitely are an Aussie. Or, well, you were an Aussie. You're dead now. Oh my gosh, no way. The final upgrade is going to be a Midas Sword. Okay, we need to get the final upgrade to this guy's Midas Sword. But I don't want to get cleaned by the other guy because he seems pretty good. If we let these guys fight it out and just bow them with the flame, we should be able to outheal them if we play for the long game. <laughs> Not if I whiff my shots, though. Okay, I know that I said that the Lich Staff used to be my favorite, but in its current state, it is absolutely abysmal, both to use it and to fight against it. Oh, my friend, you also have a flame bow, but I have the Magma Club, so I win this exchange. Okay, I have a strong sword, but this guy's sword is even stronger. Holy. And I really want it. Shoot, I didn't pick it up. And this guy has speed this... Oh, oh that's... So, oh. This might be bad for us, guys. Wait, what am I saying? I have 30 gaps. And there's the mighty sword. That's sharpness 5. There is no way that we lose this, and if I do, I give you all permission to spam L in the comments. There we go, there's the Lich Staff too! I really wish this guy had a microphone so we could talk about how intense this fight is. Oh, that's cold. That kind of backfired on me. Let's go, dude! Oh my god, that was so much fun. And that was Hopley, but every time I get a kill, my sword upgrades. Okay, okay, I know what you're saying. But Lackey, you didn't use a dragon katana. Well, technically, the Magma Club isn't even a sword, and a dragon katana is a katana. And even though katanas are technically a type of sword, I'm gonna call it a technicality, and say that we still did the challenge of getting every single legendary sword. Plus, I still need to do a dragon katana as its own video anyways. Nonetheless, thank you so very much for watching. If you're still tuned in, there are a few things that I would like to talk about, so keep on watching until the end. Firstly, happy holidays to everyone who celebrates anything festive. We've only got a few weeks left of 2023 and hopefully 2024, we're gonna continue to grow like we have. These past few months of making Hotplate Battle Royale videos have been the absolute highlight of my year. So thank you so very much to everyone who subscribed, joined the Discord, or supported in any way. I recently released channel memberships and surprisingly, there have already been people to join to support. So an extra big thank you to you guys. 
Uh, the current plan is to make hoplite videos and guides based on strategies, such as how to rush the magma sword or how to rush Mjolnir, just to teach people who go the extra mile to support me who might not already know. But since the channel memberships are so new, I haven't gotten around to them yet, but they will be uploaded in the near future. I'm also interested in knowing if y'all would be interested in non-hoplite content, such as battle royale events and SMP content. I've been working on planning a new hardcore SMP that I plan on releasing in the next couple of months, so if you're interested in any SMP content, let me know. I'm also looking for more hoplite collabs. If there are any other content creators that you guys watch, please let me know in a comment. But other than that, happy holidays, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful, amazing day.